Hi folks, I'm back with another thin film experiment and what I'm doing in this experiment is I'm testing if I can build uh, consistent cells because um, I can't build my self-charging system until I can build consistent cells that are all going to perform about the same. So this is the first of those tests and I'll keep performing these tests until I can produce consistent cells. So what we're going to do is build three cells that are the same. I've made the same size separators the same out of the same materials at the same time, uh, the same way. Uh, they've got to have the same drying time and we're going to make three cells and then <coughs> discharge them and uh, record the, the data and then uh, multiply the amps times the volts to get the milliwatts and then we're going to compare the milliwatts of the batteries and see how close they are. So there's the game plan. And I'm all set up to go, I believe. So we'll just start here. We'll paint a little graphite and water on the electrode. It's kind of slippery. It slides at first, but then it sticks and then it's stuck. Alright, let's see what kind of volts we get here on this one. And we got 92.5 and, and it's going to do a real slow drop. So 92.5 and our amps are 1, 2, 3 11.6 I think. Alright, 92.5 and 11.6. Zinc plate. Alright. Now, let's see what we get here. This one's a 88.7 and slowly dropping. So 0 0.887. 0 0.887 and 16.2. Plate. And 16 Just a second. Okay. And we have huh, ninety six point uh, six and coming down. Ninety six point six and Two, one, nineteen or sixteen. God damn, I couldn't see it that well. All right, and I'll be back when these things charge a little bit, and then we'll do it again. All right, they've all pretty well stabilized, so let's just uh, knock them out here. See what we got. First one, we are at eighty-one. 0.819, uh, 0.82, ah, now 0.821, it's up there at 0.18819 there for a while, now it's climbing again, look at that, alright, let's see what this one is, let's see that's 79, and it's pretty much holding right there, so that's number, is test number two. And just jump to seven nine two. All right, seven nine two and three two one. Fifteen and six, right? It's it's about stop. We're gonna test it right there. 
0.83, we'll call it 832. 0.832, and our volts or amps are 3, 2, 1. I don't know, I couldn't see that second number. I think it was 10 point something. Point eight three two and ten point something. Maybe I clean my glasses. Alright, let's see what number three is. And we have point eight oh seven. And we got three, two, one. Seventeen. Alright, so there's I'll let them all charge back up and we'll test them again. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back again. They're all moving up pretty slow, but they're all still climbing a little bit. So this first one is now up to 0 0.802, which is a little below where it was the sec last time. And so we'll do it at 0.80. It wants to switch to 804. 0.804 and our amps are 3, 2, 1 and point zero, I think number 2 is now at 81.815 and that's higher than it was last time so this one's already started to climb back up and we'll do it at uh, 0 0.814. 0 0.814. And our amps are 3, 2, 1. 17.4. Let's go on to number 3. And we have... Let me get up here where I can see. We have... 0.825 and it was 807 last night so it's it's on its way back up to 0.826 0 0.826 and 3 2 1 20.4 I'll be back after charges all right we're back to the fourth discharge and our first battery is at 0 0.811, 812 maybe. Alright, we'll call it 811. 811. And our amps are 3, 2, 1, 10.7. Number 2 is... So it's still climbing, but we're going to measure it right there. 828. Eight. 828 eight and 15.9. Now the third one. And we're at 0 0.842. 843. 843. And. Our amps are 3, 2, 1, 20 point something. I think I'll do it one more time if I've got time. Alright, we're back with number 5. And the first battery is only at uh, 0.788, which is even lower than it was last time. It started to go back up, but... I don't know, it's at 7.9 now. I think the membrane is failing on that one, personally. Alright, and, oh, let's go ahead and short it and see. So we're at uh, 7.9.3. And we have 3, 2, 1, 7.9. Number two, we are eight four seven, and that's again.
again. Nice jump up from the last time. Alright, we'll call 847. And our amps are 3, 2, 1, 16.7. The third one is. And it is 853. Another nice jump for that one. 853. And the amps are 3, 2, 1, 20.6. I'll check the time. Maybe be back one more time. Alright, I'm back again for the next run. It's 4, 5. It's number 6. And to save a little time, I already tested the first battery and recorded it. It's, we're going to do number 2 and number 3. And our volts on number 2 are 1.825. And our amps are 3, 2, 1, 14, 1. we have 0.877. This one here is still climbing nice. 0.877. And the amps are 17.7. Alright, we'll stop right there and uh, plot it all and and then uh, I'll come back and then we'll see all the number two and number three stack. I'm back. And you can see from the results of this that uh, there was a, a big difference between the, the batteries. They all did basically the same thing. They all peaked through in this area here. And uh, they all dropped uh, at the end. And uh, the, the first one, I also noticed that I, I shoved it over on the line and uh, that, that may have messed it up. So uh, now we're going to try to uh, hook up a uh, series here and see if we can uh, voltage adds on these things. There was some question about whether they would uh, add up, so we're going to answer that question. And we're going to measure the first one here. And we have 0.895. Okay, so let's write that down. 0.895 and then on this one we have 793 we should have 1.688 volts if they add together so whoops I'm going to uh, do it this way and we have 1.688 volts, 689, it's charging up, see, they add together, I don't see any problem with them adding together, I, I'm back again, and uh, I was looking at these cells, trying to figure out what I could be doing wrong, this is the one that was the, the worst one, I was looking, and there's a lot of carbon running around the edge, and you see right here, there's carbon running over all the way to the to the plate. It could be that there's uh, I'm shorting out right there. And then I was thinking, you know, it's, it's also when I'm doing these things, you know, I'm doing the, the edges here, and they're overlapping right there. Maybe what I'm thinking is I'll make the cell and then trim off these edges and then put it together. Uh, and then, then be more careful when I'm putting the uh, the graphite on this uh, piece of graph oil to not put it real close to the edge so I don't get it squirting out the, the sides there when I when I push it down together. That's what I'm thinking will improve it right there. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.